Alex. Uh, disappointing result. Um, but you've had a few minutes now. Just give us your thoughts on your performance, his performance, and, and the fight itself. Ah, uh, yeah, man. Um, that's the game, eh? Uh, call me. You know, good. Uh, I haven't probably watched the back, but, you know, um, yeah, got, got me. You know, went uh, straight over. He went nice and high, even though I was shelling. So maybe it was something that, that they were playing, and so credit to him. Up until that point, how were you feeling in the fight? You know, I felt strong. You know, I felt uh, strong in there, but like, yeah, I wanted to, uh, obviously, I've been telling you, you know, obviously, I wanted to yeah, put, some, put some hands on him and whatnot. Um, I wanted to pull the trigger, but I don't know, just, yeah, it just felt, yeah, I guess, yeah, it felt a, a little weird in there. I just felt that little bit hesitant, which I didn't expect, uh, didn't expect. I was like, I was waiting for something. I was like, all right, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. And, and then he got me. <laughs> um, yeah, what do you what, do? What do you put that down to? Why do you think you were hesitant? Ah, look, man, I'm not, um, yeah, I'm not going to, you know, I don't want to sit there and obviously make excuses, you know what I mean? So, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big believer in uh, preparation and stuff like that, but, um, you know, I back myself. So that's the decision I made, you know what I mean? Um, you know, there's, a, you know, I probably made uh, decisions, you know, I could have made better decisions in, uh, but, you know, again, like, he's not somebody you should be taking a, a short notice with, but uh, I needed it. Again, uh, a lot, obviously, a lot of people will say it's for the money and all that, um, but, it, you know, it was, it was much more than that. Like, you know what I mean? It is, it is hard. Like, it really is hard for uh, athletes. Sorry. Um... I, I never thought I'd struggle with it, but I mean, like, for some reason, when I wasn't fighting or, or in camp, fuck, sorry. I was just uh, doing my head in, you know what I mean? Uh, I needed a fight, and then uh, this opportunity to come up, and, you know, I'll be, I'll be honest, I wasn't uh, trained as much as I should have, but I thought I had to, you know, I had to, I had to do it. I had to take, take it. I thought it would be, um, you know, I'm telling myself it's meant to be, obviously, uh, I was struggling a little bit, not fighting, doing my head in. I don't know how. Everything's fine. I've got a beautiful family. Um, but I don't know. You know, you, I think you just need to keep busy. So that's why, uh, I, you know, I just ask uh, the UFC to, you know, just keep me busy. Because, uh, you know, I need, to, I need to be keeping busy. I need to be in camp. Otherwise, I'm going to do my head in. So, uh, you know, that, that's, yeah, I'll leave it at that. I, I want to be sensitive to what you're saying. And if you don't have to reveal anything you don't want to reveal. But you used to saying something like, Tyson Fury spoken about in the past that if I'm not fighting, I get dark places and I start getting down. Or are you saying you get bored? What what exactly do you mean by you need to stay busy before, or it does your head in? Yeah, it, 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 I don't know. It's weird. I've never I've never believed, uh, not believed in that stuff. Like uh, I, I I never got it. Um, it was something that uh, you know I don't know. Maybe the more and more I, I learn about my sport, the more and more I understand. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was different. It was a, you know, it was a decision I, I, I chose. Um, you know, I talked about us having a smile on my face, me and my wife. Uh, my wife, obviously, my wife could see that, you know, it, it does get hard. Um, I don't know why. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, just the, uh, I think it was just so much going on uh, with obviously the surgery and then the, the baby and, um, yeah, and then like uh, I, I just needed, I needed to get in camp. So. <laughs> And then this fight come up, I'm like, yeah, it's meant to be, uh, let's do it. So uh, I thought that was, uh, that was what it was, but maybe it was just a, a silly decision under them circumstances. Uh, again, they're decisions you don't want to make against someone like Islam. And I'm not taking nothing away from him. Um, yeah. I don't think you're the only athlete who struggled with that, by the way. You know? Yeah, I know that. I know it's a very common thing. It was something that, again, I have never, I never understood. Uh, it was... Uh, yeah, I've never never dealt with anything like that, to be honest. Um, yeah, oh, you know, I was obviously, uh, I talk about being professional and always turning up. And if there ever was a time that uh, I wasn't, it was literally now. And then, uh, you know, I made a decision. Maybe maybe, it was, maybe this happened to uh, give me a kick up the ass for, for, for being silly. Maybe it won't happen again now. You know, maybe that's what it was. Maybe this will kick me back into gear. Um, get back in there and go back to featherweight division and uh, kick ass there. Yeah. So to be clear, I mean, and I understand your motivation now. January is something you very much want. Yeah, I, I need to. Like I said, I need to. I need to be busy. Um, again, this is a you know, 
It's just, I think, my main purpose, obviously, now is, uh, you know, family and fighting. And when I'm not fighting, I feel like, uh, you know, I'm not ticking all the boxes. I need to be ticking the boxes. I don't like wasting time. I need to, that's why I've uh, talked to my manager, obviously, before this. I'm like, you know, we need to keep me busy. Um, yeah, it's, it's weird. I've never, yeah, again, it's, to be honest, it's never really happened. Maybe it was just with the, the, the newborn and the surgery and that. Like, uh, yeah, it's, again, this ain't an excuse. Um, again, I... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, yeah, again, like, um, I wanted to put one on his, I thought I could, you know, I thought I could come in and, and be like, anyone that can do this on, on, you know, 11 days notice, I do believe that I am that guy, um, but maybe I'll choose a different opponent or a better opponent to be uh, doing that too, like, obviously, he's like, full credit to him, um, at the end of the day, he called me, so, uh, you know, I can't uh, say much, you know, um, I wanted, I wanted to catch him, and I didn't. Again, and last one for me, but tell me to mind my own business if this is too much, but is this something you're still struggling with? Do you feel better now? Do you feel that now you've got a bit of activity, you can sort of push that to one side, or is this something you're going to have to be like, hey, I, I just need to have one more camp, I need to have one more fight, and then Mate, I can help? I told you that I, I had nothing but smiles on my face as soon as I did, and so did my wife. Um, she could, like, yeah, again, like, we, we could say, anyway, it's just uh, too, many, too many details, so I apologize for that, but... Um, it's just, yeah, it's a, I think it's a common thing, so I think it's okay to at least uh, touch on it a little bit, but, um, yeah, so uh, pretty much all I wanted to get is much more than just doing it for the money, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, uh, again, I thrive in this, so at the end of the day, yeah, it hurts me now. Um, it could have been historical, an event, or, you know, I could have literally shocked the world and did all that, and... Um, I probably wouldn't have, you know, would have, I would have talked to her about my team, but I probably wouldn't be, uh, yeah, you know, as, anyway, I don't really want to touch on it, sorry. Yeah, thank you for sharing what you have, and, and I'm sorry I didn't go your way tonight, but, you know, high risk, high reward and all that, fair play for backing yourself. Alex, just one quick one right here, um, on, last one on this. Um, we haven't seen you on the receiving end of, of a loss like this. We've seen you in, like, hard-fought close decisions, but, you know, Israel, he's taking time off for burnout. Your other teammate, Kai, you know, he had that concussion. He had to take time off, too. So do you have to, like, talk to people around you to, like, maybe do, like, pull it back, or do you just want to go full steam ahead? I mean, like, I need to. I need to, I need to train. I need to get into it. Um, again, it keeps me healthy. So, uh, yeah, that needs to happen. Bob, back here, mate. Australian Obviously, you know, we need to see. I don't think I'm too concussed, to be quite honest. Um, Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have to wait a while, like, to do things, but, you know, like, um, I'm okay. I'm just obviously, obviously just hurt. Bulk Australia knows you can do this. Does it make it all the more frustrating knowing that you are good enough to be double champion? Ah, oh, yeah, man. Like, obviously, yeah, you know, I'm always going to back myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, um, Yeah, like this is the game, you know what I mean? This is the game. At the end of the day, I can talk about it, anything. I could have had a perfect game plan, a perfect camp, and he still catches me with a great kick like he did. So, again, I'm not trying to uh, take anything away from him. Um, I was planning on catching him, uh, and he caught me. Thank you. Hey, Alex. If you had a full camp, what would you change compared to what camp you had before the first fight? Um, again, like, uh, that's just going to sound like excuses. I probably would have uh, stuck to a better game plan. Um, but preparation, again, I've always been a big believer in preparation. Um, you know, obviously you want to get your eye in, you want to, you know, you want to you feel and see and all these shots coming at you uh, time and time again through camp. Um, but in saying that, I thought I was blocking that kick and he got over, uh, went over it. So, uh, again, I'm not taking nothing away from Islam. He, he called me. Full, uh, full stop. Does this defeat mean that we won't see you in the lightweight division anymore? Uh, I don't think that's uh, the case. Uh, obviously, it's going to be hard to get a fight with <laughs> Islam ever again. Um, that's what I mean when I was saying there's still a lot to lose for me. A lot to lose. Um, but it was a lot to gain. And... Um, it was, it was much more than just that as well. Hey, Volk. Hi, back here, Volk. Yeah. How are you? Good. Uh, tough luck about tonight. You indicated after the fight that you uh, wanted to fight Ilya Tapuria in January. 
Dana was in here earlier and he said that he'd also be keen on actually making that fight happen. Is the focus now going to be, right, let me just defend my featherweight title and get on with it with, uh, with Tapuria, if it can happen in Jan? Uh, yeah, uh, yep. I think, um, yeah, like I said, give me some direction. I just need, uh, I just need direction. Um, and, that, and that's it, huh? It's locked anyway, so yeah, you so he already said that, there you go. So it's, uh, yeah, so that, that's good. That'll, that'll, that'll keep my, the smile on my face, that's all right. Hard luck, champ. Alex, one more in the front right here. Um, it wasn't that long ago, especially after your second fight with Max, where fans would often boo you at press conferences and just because they, they were so pro-Max, but I feel like in the last 11 days, you've never been as popular since you took this such such a great risk. So are you feeling, I don't know if you've had time to, but are you feeling just the amount of support and respect that the fans are giving you these days compared to what it was just only a couple years ago? Uh, yeah, of course. You know, it's, um, I sort of felt a little bit for Islam, obviously in that, that first one, as in I've been in that position before. We have a close fight and then next minute it feels like the world's against you. Um, I felt like that, so I did feel for Islam a bit there. Um, and obviously, you get to right all their wrongs when you do, do, do a rematch. Like, I, obviously, I wanted to right a lot of wrongs there, and so did he. And um, it worked out well for him, so... Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, you're right. I definitely uh, feel the love. Um, yeah. Last question. Yeah, sorry. Just One more, was it? Oh, yeah. Just, just like... Uh, uh, just uh, to follow up with the with the first fight, did you go in with the same exact ideas with with the second fight, or it's a totally new strategy that you went in? Um, no, nah, of course, uh, of course, the strategy is going to be a little bit different. Um, you know, I wanted to obviously go in and, and, and do more anyway, but uh, yeah, uh, when you when you yeah, it's pretty obvious that uh, you don't want to go five rounds with uh, with someone like, like Islam in general, and especially in Islam uh, full camp. Um, so uh, I was, uh, you know, obviously wanted to go out there and, uh, you know, really let the hands go. Um, I didn't, so uh, yeah, but uh, he he did. So he was he was waiting for me. That's why we were at, we were at a closer range. Um, he, I think he was ready for that. So again, the team done a great job. He was ready for me to stay at a closer range. I thought I'd do more there, um, and I didn't. And he called me. So that's that. That's it. Thank you, guys.